Happy Thanksgiving, you two. Welcome back to another show. I'm John Miro. We've got a list of every state that is sending out stimulus checks, the most up to date. We also got some very interesting news that you might want to hang around for, as well as some giveaway information. Stay tuned because this is a video that is loaded with information. Hey, what is up, you two? Welcome back to another show. Thank you so much and happy Thanksgiving. I hope that you're enjoying today. Maybe you're off, maybe you have to work, but the day is celebrating of just giving thanks for another day to be on this earth and I'm praying for you guys I love you guys I appreciate all that you do and I hope that you're enjoying your time whether it's you whether it's you and a friend or it's you and a family member I hope that today is very special celebrating eating some turkey some ham or like me I eat pizza sometimes on Thanksgiving, uh, but yet enjoying today, and I hope that you're off relaxing, having a good time, uh, just enjoying Thanksgiving. Now, we have some stimulus check information, the most up-to-date out there, and if you want to stay up-to-date on all of this information, all you got to do is hit that subscribe button and smash that like button. Your love and support means the world, and I just want to say thanks. So let's jump on the screen so we can get through, show you this information, and get to this giveaway information. Many states are sending out stimulus checks to eligible residents. You've got the state of California. You've got the Colorado, Connecticut. You've got Delaware, Florida. You've got Georgia and Hawaii. You've got Idaho, Illinois, and Indiana. You've got Maine and Massachusetts. You've got New Jersey and New Mexico. You've got New York and Oregon. You've got Pennsylvania and Rhode Island. And last but not least, you've got South Carolina and Virginia. These are the most up-to-date states that are sending out stimulus checks. Now, of course, these are not checks from the federal government. That was a totally different plan, a totally different act from the government itself. But these are individual states that are actually trying to help their residents. Now, would it be better for the federal government to do it? Definitely. Because when it comes comes to the states doing it, they solely just target those that paid taxes. And many of you said, well, we're on social security. We don't pay taxes. So what does that mean for us on SSI, SSDI? And that's exactly a good question. What does it mean for you guys? I mean, they're not understanding that the majority of people that really, really need help. And again, I'm not saying that if you're middle class or low class that you're not needing help. Can you imagine what it's like to get a check with a very low amount and try to make it in today's market? I mean, it doesn't really add up the amount that you get and that the amount that it costs to live. I remember seeing videos of seniors that literally after they paid their house bill, paid all of their medical bills, pay for their uh, medicine, they literally had no money to eat. And this is very, very saddening just because we live in a great country that things shouldn't be like this. So I'm hoping that things get better. But yet again, here's a map of the states that are sending out stimulus checks. Yes, you could say they're all Democratic states, but here's a, also a map to show you the states that are actually moving stimulus checks. Now to some very interesting information. Are we doomed to see a Biden-Trump rematch in 2024? One thing's for sure. The early betting is often wrong as President Randall Paul. So many people believed that the red wave was going to take over during midterm elections and everybody quickly found out that that's just not the case. In the Senate, the Democrats won. But in the House, the Republicans had a pretty good idea that they were going to win, but they didn't win by much. And so looking at this, I don't think we're doomed. I just think that there's going to be another rematch. I think Joe Biden is really going to run again if he has an opportunity. And I think that so many people are going to look at that and say... Uh, I hope not. <laughs> I hope that's not the case. So hopefully there will be some other candidates that are going to run and uh, we'll see what happens because the way that this country has gone in the last two years, I'm not surprised of anything. I'm telling you, things are crazy happening. I'm sure you can say the same thing that we've seen things happen the last two years that we've never seen before. And it's really thrown everything for a flip. But that's not the only thing. When it comes to Thanksgiving, the Republicans rip Biden's talking points for chatting with your uncle at Thanksgiving, and it sounds miserable. Biden was called out of touch after claiming victory on 10 million jobs created, no taxes on people making above 400000 
Well, bring the recipe to the Thanksgiving dinner. So many people are just <laughs> literally talking about all these talking points during Thanksgiving. Sometimes you get political during the family eating and uh, it can get kind of hairy. And I'm just saying, be fun, have fun, be safe. Look, politics are politics. And yes, while we would love to have things a certain way, Sometimes a prayer is just the best way to go about it, guys. So I just wanted to leave you with that. I hope that today is a great day for you. Tonight, guys, tonight, this afternoon, I'm announcing the winners of the giveaway again. I wasn't able to do it. We had some things happen. I was in the hospital. Don't to worry, not to worry. Everything's okay. But I was just there for a couple hours, and uh, I didn't get to do a whole lot. Let's just say that. But everything's good now, and we did the video. It's posting tonight, announcing the winners of the giveaway. And also, what is the best chance for us Americans to get a fourth stimulus check? All that information in this tonight's video. So stay tuned for that. But guys, happy Thanksgiving. Stay tuned for more videos to come. And until next time, I'm John Miro. Peace.